the i8 could be a real seller. It's BMW's vision of the sports car of the future. Right now, it's still hiding its real exterior, but it will soon be unveiled at the International Motor Show in Frankfurt. We've been allowed to come to southern France and sneak a look and a test drive on the BMW track in Merriman. The acceleration and 570 newton meters of torque are remarkable, and the average fuel consumption is even more remarkable at less than 2.5 liters per 100 kilometers. BMW's Manuel Santik tells us that the car is perfectly suited to the company's vision, efficient dynamics concept. It combines a thoroughbred sports car with outstanding efficiency, and that makes it the future for BMW. It truly does it all. It's a top-class sports car that also features the efficiency of a small car. He's convinced that this puts BMW at the forefront of the sports car of the future. A 170 kilowatt 1.5 liter three-cylinder gasoline engine sends its power to the rear wheels. The 96 kilowatt electric motor powers the front wheels. The two systems are not linked but together they function like an all-wheel drive. A lithium-ion battery pack is located in the central tunnel. The carbon fiber reinforced plastic passenger cell means the car is much lighter. Henry Wenders from BMW says the car has to be very light and very efficient if it's going to be driven fast. That's why carbon was chosen. It's 30% lighter than aluminum and 50% lighter than steel. That lightness is the only way an electric motor can be integrated. Even in its camouflage state, the powerful hybrid sports car gives an impressive performance. Vendors also praises the car's overall design. It features an extremely low center of gravity and an optimal axle load ratio. That's what provides the agility of a sports car. There isn't much unsprung mass on the front axis, which also makes for a very precise and agile ride. Peak speed is 250 kilometers an hour, which is achieved with an output of 266 kilowatts. In all-electric mode, the i8 can reach a speed of 120 kilometers an hour, with a maximum driving range of 35 kilometers. It makes the sprint to 100 in under 4.5 seconds. The electric motor is the same as in the compact i3. Such synergies save on development costs, and that's how the i family will be able to grow in future. But first, the i8 will celebrate its debut. Manuel Santik says the vehicle will be sold all over, in the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Asia. It will appeal to drivers interested in technical innovation and to those looking for modern and intelligent cars of the future. One day, internal combustion engines may be banned in some cities, and that's when a car like the i8 will truly shine. Drivers will be able to stick to a electric in the city and then switch back to gasoline once they've left town and get a faster drive. It's an intelligent car and it's sure to be popular everywhere. That's the theory, but what's it like in practice? We asked car reviewer Axel Busse for his impressions.
been erstaunt. Das hätte ich nicht erwartet. Das he says Auto he's amazed so nah and hadn't expected the car to können. already be this close to series production. There are some minor glitches with the transition from the combustion to the electric motor. Sometimes the car isn't quite sure what mode it's in. But those issues are sure to be fixed during the last phase of development. In the end, the car looks like it will be a winner. Just a few more days till the i8 is unveiled and we get to set our eyes on the real exterior. BMW will also announce the price at the Frankfurt Motor Show and then it will go on sale in 2014.